Thomas fans. Thank you for joining us once again as we present the 13th installment of our Thomas and Friends Diecast Custom Showcase. And thank you all for supporting our efforts so far. We wouldn't be here without you. We have more custom take-along and take-and-play models on the way, so be sure to stick around and see what's coming in the future. Now, without any further delay, let's find out who's coming down the tracks today. Duchess of Hamilton! Precisely. Duchess of Hamilton is a real-life engine who appeared in the 35th book of the Railway series entitled Thomas and the Great Railway Show in a story called Thomas and the Rail Tour. There she can be seen with Thomas and Mallard discussing who should be allowed to pull the special train for the Seaside Rail Tour. The version of her depicted in the Railway series is based on the Princess Coronation class Duchess of Hamilton, a real-life steam locomotive with a 462 wheel arrangement designed by Sir William Stanier and built by LMS Crew Works in September of 1938. Originally designed as a streamlined engine, her casing was removed for maintenance and efficiency reasons in December of 1947. In 1948, she was purchased by British Railways where her number 6229 was changed to 46229. For a short time, she wore the BR Blue livery, which was later replaced with Brunswick Green, and eventually, in September of 1958, the locomotive received her maroon livery, as seen here. Retired from service in 1964, Duchess of Hamilton was saved from the scrapyard along with her classmate, 6233 Duchess of Sutherland, and Stepney's brother, Noel, after they were added to Sir Billy Butlin's holiday camps as children's playground exhibits. For nearly a decade, Duchess of Hamilton survived at Minehead Holiday Camp, she returned to steam on the main line thanks to the Friends of the National Railway Museum, which accepted the locomotive from Butlins in 1976 on a 20-year loan, and then purchased it in 1987. She first ran as the museum's flagship locomotive in 1980, and was operational until 1985. After an extensive overhaul, she resumed running in 1989 and was finally withdrawn from mainline duty in 1996 when her seven-year boiler ticket expired. From 1998 to 2005, Duchess of Hamilton was a static exhibit in the National Railway Museum in York, standing next to Mallard. In 2005, efforts began to have the locomotive return to her original streamlined design after some prolonged delays, this work was undertaken at Tisley Locomotive Works. On May 18, 2009, she was returned to the National Railway Museum and is now on display with plans to return the locomotive to steam in the future. To make our custom version of Duchess of Hamilton, we started with a 2004 take-along Murdoch and the tender of a 2006 Neville. After some work with the masking tape, we started by spray painting the wheels with a gloss black of course we let that dry for a while, then remove the masking tape. After masking off the roof of the cab, the smoke box and the face, the ladder on the back of the tender, as well as the coal and the top of the tender, we spray painted the boiler and cab and the tender maroon. We used a silver acrylic paint for the piping after carefully masking off the exposed boiler on either side. After we finished painting, we let the paint dry accordingly to get a nice smooth finish. The striping on our custom duchess is made from thinly cut strips of adhesive postage labels which we colored yellow with a sharpie permanent marker. We also made some custom decals for this model using Microsoft Paint. As you can see, we added the decals for the British Railways number 46229 nameplates on both sides of the boiler, and the BR logo on both sides of the tender. As a final touch, we gave the entire engine a clear acrylic coat to seal the paint and help the decals bond better. And there you have it, Thomas fans, our custom take and play Duchess of Hamilton. We hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button below to let us know, and be sure to check out our other videos after this. Remember, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. But most importantly, if you want to see more great videos like this, be sure to show your support by subscribing to our channel. And as always, until next time, we'll see you on Sonor!